everyone welcome back to my channel or if you're new here my name is Ruthie and today I wanted to kind of do a military Q&A so the reason why is I actually get a ton of questions believe it or not um, on Instagram regarding like Cameron's deployment right now and like how I'm doing and all that stuff so I thought I would kind of just come on here and do a Q&A um, I'm sure if you're new here and you're just finding this video, I'm sure some of these questions you can probably relate to or kind of get some advice from it. I don't know. So, um, I have a lot of questions. I wrote everything down. I thought we would get into it. Um, I kind of just try to section them off by kind of like what's going on. Um, it's a little backstory if you don't know. Um, I have been with my hubby for six and a half years now. Yeah, six and a half years, married for four years. Um, we just had our four year anniversary in August, even though he's not here. Um, but we just had it in August, so we've been married for four years. We've been together for six and a half years. We have two beautiful little baby boys, um, and we are currently stationed in Colorado. Um, so that's kind of like just a little gist of it. We've also been in Colorado for three three and a half years now yeah 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 three and a half years let's get to these questions um that was just one thing I know someone asked me he said how old are you when you got married and I was 21 when I did get married um I literally graduated college in May and then I got engaged in July and I got married in August yeah it was crazy like 2016 2016 was literally like the most wild year of my life um so yeah main question I got consistently was how do you do it with two kids um and I'm assuming that they're talking about the, this deployment because obviously Cameron's not here um if you don't know I have a two and a half year old well he's not even two and a half yet he'll turn two and a half this month and then I have an almost nine month old this month as well uh, so I have two babies um and I'm doing it all on my own and I think like how do you do it isn't really the question it's I don't have a choice but to do it um, obviously I'm stationed here in Colorado I have no family out here I have literally like two friends who I barely see just because you know life um, but I have no choice but to do it like I have no choice but I have to get up every morning and I have to take care of my kids and I have to feed them I have to clothe them I have to take care of them I have to provide for them like I don't have a choice but not to um, I can't just sit there and be sad all day long uh, even though I have my days um, I still have to tough it out and take care of my kids so how do you do it I don't have a choice but to do it so I don't think that's like the answer maybe you're looking for but I mean how do you do it I don't have a choice you know what I mean you just push through and you just try your best every day um, not every day is easy like I have a lot of breakdowns and my two and a half year old right now is definitely at like the terrible two stage where he's just terrible um he doesn't listen all the time and he has his days like today's been a really great day which is like it makes me so happy like I love weekends because he's like the best kid ever on the weekend and then the weekdays he's just a terror but <laughs> um yeah how do I do it I don't have a choice but to do it but, I mean, I feel like you also kind of learn to create a schedule and kind of go by it. Like, I'm all about schedules. Um, and I definitely follow a schedule for the most part, especially with their naps and everything. Um, I'm the type of person, I won't mess up their naps, especially my two-year-olds. Um, my nine-month-old, he pretty much can sleep anywhere. My two-and-a-half-year-old still takes a two-hour nap every day. And he needs that nap. Like, I'm telling you guys, like, he needs to nap. So... I'm the type of person, I will be home. Like, I don't care. I will not let my kids sleep anywhere else. Like, for nap times in the afternoon, they need to be home. Um, so, I'm all about schedules. I'm all about consistency. And, yeah, I feel like that definitely helps me um, kind of, like, keep on with my routine and keep on going on, you know. But it's not easy. And I'm not going to, like, sit here like, ah, it's so easy. Like, I can do it all by myself. Like, no. I cry all the time. I want my husband home all the time. Um... And yeah, I mean, that's just how I do it. I just kind of make a schedule, go by it, and some days are better than others, and that's okay. Like, that's motherhood, and that's just life. <laughs> so that's that one. Someone actually asked when they said, how do you do it all alone all day? And then someone says, how do you shower? <laughs> God bless you. And, you know, 
the showering thing is one thing that I say I'm like I miss it so much because when my husband's home I'm like I need to go take a shower I need to relax I need some me time right now and he'll just watch the kids and I can just go shower but now I can't just do that um on my casual days or days that I don't really care um which is usually Monday through Friday um I will sometimes take a uh, shower during their nap the two hour nap sometimes um, or usually I shower right after they go to bed, um, which sucks because I hate taking late night showers because it kind of wakens, like, it kind of, I hate taking late night showers because it wakes me back up, but I don't have a choice, again. Um, sometimes, depending on the day, if I just really want to shower in the morning, um, I'll shower during my nine months old first morning nap, and then my toddler kind of just will, like, watch a show or something in the room so I can kind of keep an eye on him. Um, cause with my toddler, he would literally like run off the house. So that's how I do it in the morning. But usually I shower after bedtime, which is 7 30, 8 o'clock. Um, so yeah, that's how I shower in case you're wondering. <laughs> and then I put shampoo and then I shave my legs. No, it's cute. Um, I'm corny. Um, so the next thing, I had a next question. Um, so I said, um, how are you feeling with this deployment? Um, I'm feeling okay as of right now. Cameron's been gone for three and a half months. Um, he has a few more months left. Um, but I thought I was going to be more sad. I thought I was going to cry more, more often. Um, cause I cried a lot when he went to BMT. Um, obviously I had no communication with him. I probably only talked to him through letters and then I had a few phone calls with him, but overall, like I didn't talk to him, but this time around, like, I feel like I'm okay, but I think it's more so because we FaceTime every day. Um, we talk all the time. We text all the time. Um, he works nights right now over there, so that way he can talk to us. And it's, it, it more so follows our schedule more than, like, if he was to work days and then, yeah. So, um, we talk to him a lot, actually, um, which I'm really, really thankful for. I'm thankful for our technology and everything. Um, although we do pay kind of a lot of money for him to have, like, internet and all that stuff over there. Um, and better service, um, but it's worth it because we get to talk to him, the boys get to talk to him, so um, I'm okay, I definitely have my days, like I said before, like I cry and I'm sad and I just have my days where I'm like, I just want you home, I need your help, um, I need your help like taking care of the dogs or like the kids or I just want a break, and it's okay to want a break, like as a mom, as a human, everyone needs breaks and everyone needs alone time and it's hard to have that with two kids, so um, yeah, I'm, I'm okay. Surprisingly, I'm okay. Um, so I said, when does he come home? Hopefully next month. Um, hopefully. He may come home early. Um, but we'll see. Um, I don't want to talk too much about it because I really can't, but we don't have a confirmed date yet, but there's a possibility that he can't come home from his deployment early, um, along with a bunch of other people, just because, um, coronavirus kind of, like, really messed with, like, the whole deployment bans and everything. Um, he was supposed to leave in March, and then he left in June, so he left too much later, and it kind of just, like, throwed, threw everyone off. Um, so I don't know if they're maybe sending some people home early because of that, or, like, what the reason is, but... Um, there's a possibility he can come home early, but I don't want to jinx it. So, he's on a six-month deployment. Let's just say that. He's on a six-month deployment. He's been gone for three and a half months. So, he either comes home in a few more months, or he possibly comes home at next month. But, we'll see. Um, so, I so said, where is his deployment? I cannot say. Um, I know some people can kind of talk about the deployment um, and stuff like that. Um, I cannot, um, I don't really think there's a reason why I can't, I don't, I don't know, but I want to be respectful enough. There's certain things you just can't share and I'm obviously on social media and I'm on a platform and I don't want to just announce it to the world for my husband's safety and everything else. So yeah, I can't really say where, but he's out of the country, I guess. <laughs> um, so I said, is he re-enlisting? Guys, is this question for me or him? Um, I don't know if he's re-enlisting. Um, we did just get orders, which kind of goes to another one. says, when do you move? Um, we did just get orders, so we could possibly be moving soon. Um, hopefully, we'll see. If he accepts his orders, he will be re-enlisting. Um, or 
maybe extending for a few more years. I don't know. He's currently, he's supposed to get out of the military in August, but because of the deployment, he re-enlisted, not re-enlisted, he extended a year. And then hopefully, I think if he accepts these orders, he has to extend another two years or re-enlist for four years. I'm not quite sure how it works. I don't really understand the military at all. Um, but possibly re-enlisting, yes. And then when do we move? Possibly soon. Stay tuned. Um, so I was at do the kids go to daycare? Um, and I kind of think this goes along with how do you work and take care of your babies? And then I had someone say, do you work? Um, so yes, I do work. I work, um, pretty much, pretty much full time. I'm supposed to be part time, but I pretty much work full time. My full, I like full time hours. Um, I work from home right now. I have been an office assistant for three years now. So, right. Yeah. Three years in July. Yeah. So I've been an office assistant. Um, I work for, or I work directly for a, re a real estate agent um, who oversees new builds in my community that I actually live in and actually who I bought my house from. Um, so I actually work for him who works for the builder. So I, in essence, work for the builder, but I get paid through him because I'm technically his assistant. I don't know how it works, but I'm basically an office assistant, but I'm really a transaction coordinator without getting paid as a transaction coordinator. It kind of sucks, but I'm thankful for the job. Um, it's definitely been up and down, up and down, kind of rocky sometimes, but overall my boss has been so supportive and so like he works really well with me. Um, I used to work full time in the office and then I got pregnant with Landon and I told him like, Hey, I'm pregnant. Like, I don't want to work full time anymore. I'm going to end up going part time once I have the baby. I'll work two days in the office. I can work from home if you want me to, or I won't work at all. And I was like, up to you. And I was like, but I'm not going to be working full time anymore. And he was like, no, it's fine. Like we can, we can make this work. Two days in the office is great, which I used to work two days when it was Kara's two days off. And then I used to work from home the other three days uh, from home. And then I got pregnant with Asher and I told him, I was like, listen, this is, this is a lot. And he's like, nope, we can still make this work. Um, and my pregnancy, I had a really, really rough pregnancy with Asher. I was in the hospital a lot and I had a lot of appointments and he still worked with me. Um, and then when I found out Cameron was deploying, I sat him down and I was like, listen, I can't work in the office anymore. And then I was like, I think it may be beneficial for you to hire someone. Um, I was like, if you want me to work from home, completely I can too so like you let me know what you want and I was like but this is what's my situation and he was like nope that's fine you can work from home like we have no issues like we work really well through email blah 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 so yeah I work from home full-time at home um but I do work I do have a job I do bring in an income um I'm not just a dependa like I do work I have been working for three years and it's freaking hard, let me tell you. Because someone said, how do you take care of your babies and work? And it's an adjustment. Like, Monday through Friday, it's really, really hectic for me. Um, sometimes I have to work on the weekends, too, just because I have a lot of work. Um, I know, like, even my husband, like, sometimes he jokes around. He's like, I never expected, like, your job to be so much. Like, it's, it's not a hard job. It's just a lot of work. Um, but, like, I get paid pretty decent uh, for what, what the minimum wage is out here. Um, I get paid pretty well and I get bonuses and stuff. So, and I'm able to work from home. So it's kind of nice. So my kids do not go to daycare. Uh, when I was pregnant with Asher and I had Landon, um, he started going to a sitter here in the neighborhood who had two boys around in Landon's age. He, had, he was 18 months when he went and her boys are two and four. And he used to go there two days a week. Um, when Cameron was working, um, and why did he, why did we do that? I think Cameron was, like, on a different flight, so he used to have to work some of those Mondays. That, oh, that's why. His schedule changed every week, so every week he used to flip-flop, three days on, two days off, three days on, two days off, and so every other week he would have to work on that Monday and Tuesday. So those Mondays and Tuesdays that he had to work, um, he used to go to the Lanny used to go to the sitter's house. So I feel like that's why people think he goes to daycare maybe, but he hasn't gone there since September, so almost a year. Uh, I actually looked at preschools for him this year, but with COVID and everything, it kind of freaked me out. Um, he's still really young. He's only two and a half, so he can be home. I just thought it'd be nice for like social development and then kind of like 
having time out of the house because he's always in the house um but with the coronavirus and everything it kind of like freaked me out and i was like you know what he doesn't have to go so let's not um and it's really expensive like really expensive um so the next one I actually kind of was surprised that someone asked someone said how does your husband feel about youtube um so overall with youtube and social media cameron doesn't care it's not his thing he doesn't like social media um, he doesn't like putting his life out there, which is weird because like I put my life out there um, But overall like and I actually asked him I just like texted him and I was like this is like a weird question I was like but someone asked me and he goes I'm all for you doing it You enjoy it and he goes just because it's not my thing doesn't mean it can't be yours and that's so true like honestly he's so supportive and He actually I started YouTube We've been together for six and a half years, so probably Maybe six, oh, maybe five years, maybe five and a half years, maybe five and a half, six years. Probably like five and a half years, maybe five. Um, five years ago, um, I actually used to have a beauty channel, which I still have it open. I just haven't posted on it in like two years. Um, but I used to post beauty videos because I used to be super into makeup and super into beauty, which I still love it. But, you know, as a mom of two, it's kind of hard. Um, this room actually I'm sitting in is Asher's nursery because the boys are sleeping in my room um but this used to be my beauty room and i had to change it when i got pregnant with asher which it's okay like i just you know life and things change but i definitely am not into beauty the way it used to be and but five years ago i started a beauty channel and he was all for it he was like the one encouraging me and he's actually the one who bought me my first canon uh, and he bought me a canon rebel t5i for christmas that year yeah five years ago I think and he bought me that camera and he bought me like all the stuff for it the equipment the tripods everything and he's actually the one who helped me like push me towards starting that channel and you know he actually bought me this camera too which is my vlogging camera which is the Sony A5100 I think it is um, and he bought me this one two years ago because he knew I wanted to start vlogging um, and he's super supportive and he's all for it and he knows like I have my moments with like YouTube like I've been on YouTube for a long time and I'm not consistent at all. Um, I've been a little bit more consistent the past couple months just because I'm enjoying it. Um, and I've always enjoyed YouTube and I don't want to ever think like I need to do YouTube. I need to make videos because I want to make money on it. That's not why I do YouTube. Um, I've literally done YouTube for years now and I'm just not consistent because I don't care about the money. I don't care about the growth. But I just, I've created a really good outlet and a really good platform on Instagram and I have like these certain people that I've met through social media that I'm absolutely like obsessed with and like I feel like I have real friendships with them and I'm grateful for it um but yeah I mean I'm not like big on YouTube and I'm not big on Instagram but I am on YouTube and I am on Instagram and I do have people that follow me that really connect with me and stuff and I really love it and he's super super supportive of it um I do some sponsored posts on Instagram and I do get paid from certain brands for certain things. And he's all for it. Like, he's super, super supportive. I obviously can't make this a career right now because of how it is. But I feel like if I ever was to make it a career, he'd still be super supportive. Um, so, yeah. I mean, he's he's supportive. But, yeah. He's he's really for it. And there's actually there was actually a point where I was actually making, like, sponsored... Um, I was actually making, like, content for a brand. And it was like a month long of like content and I really had to focus on it and it's hard to do with two kids and He was so supportive and he would actually take the kids for car rides to, so I can kind of like film my content And it was just like super helpful. So yeah, I mean, it's not his thing, but he's super supportive Um, Someone said how to take care of your babies alone. I already answered that so, Do you want more babies? So I always wanted four And then me and Cam got married and we compromised on three so we have two of them already so we're left with one more and I really thought I wanted to get pregnant for my third baby when Asher turned one so in a few months and at this point in time of my life with Karen being gone I don't think I want another baby anytime soon um I have my moments I really miss being pregnant and I really would love to have another baby but uh, taking care of two kids alone is so hard <laughs> Um, thankfully Landon is so independent and he's so helpful when he has his good days. Um, overall, like he's a really helpful big brother and he's, he really wants to be involved. Um, and thankful for that, but two kids is a lot of work. So I would really 
love to have my third one maybe when Landon officially goes to school like kindergarten um we'll see because <laughs> it's a lot of work um I would really love I still would love to have two more uh, but I know Cameron definitely will not have him. he won't have two more so let's just pray that this, the next one's twins <laughs> I think I would literally cry if I have twins because first of all to carry that in your belly like I'm not, a, I'm 5'2", like, I'm very petite, I'm very tiny, um, and I struggled with my babies, like, hard. Like, after I gained 30 pounds, no, Landon, I gained 30 pounds, after I gained almost 40 pounds, um, and I struggled hard. I mean, thankfully, I lost all the weight, but it's hard to carry those babies in your belly. Which actually brings me to my next one. How was delivering at a military hospital? So, I mean, I actually delivered both my boys at Fort Carson, um, here in Colorado, springs and i had both amazing experiences with both my babies and i was actually high risk um i had a high risk birth with landon because i ended up having preeclampsia and then with asher i had a high risk pregnancy and then i ended up getting preeclampsia again um and i had like a, i had so many issues with asher and then um i had both my boys three weeks early at 37 and 3, which is weird. 37 weeks, 3 days early. Both my boys, which is weird. Um, and I had great experiences. Um, like, perfect. Like, I know some people have, like, some scary situations with, like, uh, military hospitals. But I had both my babies at the military hospitals. And I had great experiences. Um, experiences. Experiences. Whatever. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. I guess it just depends on maybe where you are, your hospital. But, yeah, I had both my babies at Fort Carson. And... I had great experiences so yeah that's that um next question actually i'm gonna just probably do my final question because i've been filming for like 45 minutes um the other one how did i buy my house so i bought my house three years four years oh my God, three years ago i bought my house three years ago and when we bought our house we were actually looking at we knew we wanted to buy a property just because of the way the market was growing in colorado we we're like this will be such a smart choice to buy a house and our original our original um limit was 250 i was like i don't want to spend more than 250 on a house like i don't want to spend any more than that i, I want 250. we ended up looking at new builds because all the houses that i was looking at i was like it needs so much work and they were going under contract so quickly and then my realtor was like let's go look at a new build like i know like you said you do don't want new builds you want like pre-owned um cameron was all for it because cameron loved the idea of a new build um, and I was like, okay, like, fine, whatever. He, of course, showed us the model, which is, like, this beautiful, luxurious, very expensive house. And I was like, it's so pretty. Um, and he was like, well, this is a little, little bit of a stretch over your budget, which was, like, $100,000 more than what I wanted. And I was like, yeah, <laughs> thanks, but no thanks. Um, and then he showed us this floor plan, which is our house, and it was actually the last in the inventory um, for under 300000 and I was like, oh, it's so expensive, it's so expensive, like we can't do this, like it's so expensive. And obviously we had to add AC to our house and then granite. And then we also had a lot premium because we have open space behind us so there's no one can ever build behind us. Um, what's wrong with us? Um, so, um, yeah, we end up buying our house for like two eight. 280 I think it was like what we actually walked away with was like 280 um which was $30,000 more than I wanted to spend but it was a new build so it basically has no issues there's nothing to really worry about the house um there's no upgrades that we had to do or anything like that we did just recently uh finish the basement um which that's a whole other story um but yeah so we bought our house for like 280 um and the reason why we were able to buy our house is because Cameron's military. So because Cameron's military, we were, we were able to get a VA loan, um, which with VA, um, you actually do not have to put any money down on a house. Obviously, there's other like programs out there like FHA and all that stuff where you put a very little amount down. Um, so because of VA, we really didn't have to put any money down. Um, the only money that we put down was actually our, or just my ankle card, um, was our earnest money, which was like a thousand dollars or something like that maybe maybe less i don't remember um but we ended up getting that check back anyways um 
So, yeah. So, and another reason why we didn't put money down on the house was with VA, obviously, you can put as much money as you want down. Um, it's your house. But because it's VA, you don't have to put any money down. And one thing with VA is if it's not your forever home, what's the point of putting five, ten thousand dollars $10,000 down uh, for it to be a few dollars cheaper every month compared to keeping that five, ten thousand dollars $10,000 in your bank account and in a few years you're gonna sell your house so it's like wouldn't you rather have five ten thousand dollars more in your account than to save a few dollars a month so that's something to think about i mean not everyone thinks like that my forever home i'm for sure putting money down on my house because i want to pay it off as soon as possible but because this isn't a forever home so we're like there's no point in doing that yeah like a hundred thousand dollars that we can walk away with before we pay like agents and all that stuff so that's a really great investment um i definitely think if you're if you have a va loan um use it buy a property, invest in property. Um, thankfully, me and Cam have really great credit, which is like something that like we love about ourselves. Like we glow about it. Like we love having a high credit score. Like I have over an 800 and Cameron, I'm pretty sure Cameron has an 800, um, but we have really great credit for being young. And yeah, so great credit. Oh, you don't need great credit to buy a house, first of all. You only need like a five something to buy a house it's insane that they actually let people buy houses at that credit score but you can um but yeah we have great credit and we had a va loan so we were able to buy this brand new house a lot of people always ask about that but yeah, that's how we bought this house we plan on buying another house um once we sell this house i think the va cap is like four hundred thousand or something like that so you can use a va loan up to that um, amount either split it up or in total um so we're just selling this house once we move and then we'll buy a new house and I'll probably do the same thing, not putting money down just because there's no point if it's not a forever home uh, until we decide to settle down, then we will. So that's that. I think that's all the questions I'm going to answer um, just because I answered quite a few. Um, if you guys want, I could do another military Q&A. You guys can ask more questions. If you do have any questions and I didn't answer it, you can always leave it down below uh, if you don't want to wait till the next video. So yeah, I hope that answered everything. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram. I talk to a lot of people that way on the daily. Um, I love everyone's DMs. I love connecting with people. I love connecting with other military um, wives. And I love connecting with mamas. So hit me up. Follow me. I love to follow you guys back. Um, so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Click the notification bell so you get notified. Because I don't think half my subscribers are getting notified of my videos. So hit the notification bell and I'll catch you guys in the next one. I don't know what else to say. I don't, I don't know. Bye.